If you're dragging any sort of audio into Ableton Live, whether it's one shots, it's samples, or it's full stems and multi-tracks to perform on stage with, then you've probably ran into this issue. You get your songs, your stems in this case, brought into your live set, I press play, everything is pure chaos. Something is not right. And I'm confused because my audio is playing at the wrong tempo. And in fact, all my clips are all over the place. It's just a complete disaster. This is the point where you start questioning all your decisions in life. What led you up to this point? In this particular tutorial, I want to explain what's causing this, why it's happening, how to disable it and fix it, talk about how the feature that's causing it actually is a good feature, and then ultimately we'll solve this so that your audio plays in the right tempo. For, so first, let's talk about what's causing this in the first place. This is a feature of live called warping. And warping is a great feature because live treats audio like it's elastic. It, it should be able to play at any tempo. Uh, and, and again, that's a great feature. Imagine working in a project at 95 BPM and looking for just the right drum loop that fits as the right timbre, as the right texture, the right vibe for your song. You don't want to Google drum loops at 95 BPM and be limited to only sounds that are at 95 BPM. You want to just find a great drum loop, bring it into your project, and it automatically syncs up and locks in. It's a great feature of live. That's all created by warping. And we talked about how to warp content in the past. I'll link to all the tutorials in the description of this video. It's a great feature until you just want to bring some stems, bring some audio into live and press play and want it to play at the correct tempo. Now, the reason that is happening is because live is trying to guess the tempo of your audio. It's trying to warp it properly and it's just wreaking havoc. So the way to fix that is go to live's preferences, either command comma or control comma if you're on a PC and you want to go to the record warp launch tab. So I'm going to click on that. You want to go to the warp fade section and then under that section, you want to go to the auto warp long samples section and disable that feature. Again, what that means is if you bring in a sample that is beyond a certain length, and I don't know what exactly what that length is, but something live would determine and call a long sample. You bring that into your live set, live is going to go, oh, uh, he actually wants this to be warped. So what I'm going to do is guess that tempo. Uh, I'm going to apply that tempo to this file, and then I'm going to warp all these stems. I, I'm going to be super nice and courteous and do this without him having any idea what's happening. Well, when I go to bring my stems in, again, the result of that is my stems are all different lengths and are not playing at the correct tempo. And if I preview them somewhere outside of live, then I know they're working. So now with auto warp long samples disabled, um, when you bring new samples into your live set, everything's going to function exactly the, the right way and everything's going to be good. Now, if you look at these stems that are already in my live set, they're already warped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, um, just anywhere in my live set, I'm going to do command a, uh, which is to select all you could do control a, if you're on a, a windows machine and I'm going to hit delete to delete these. Now my tempo is set properly 95 BPM, but what I'm going to do is go over here to my browser and I've got all of these stems loaded in my browser. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag these in. I'm going to hold command so they all go in the same track. And you'll notice now when I drag these in, they're all the same length. And if I were to press play, everything sounds together. Let's jump ahead a little bit here. Right, everything sounds right to me. And the reason everything sounds right to me is auto warp long samples is disabled. So when I drag in long samples, they're gonna play unwarped. And audio that's unwarped is not going to respond to tempo changes in live. So I could set this to 150 BPM if I wanted to and look at my stems. They're all gonna continue to be the same length. They're all gonna play at the exact same time. Uh, and everything's going to function properly in the way that I want it to in my live set. Now, to finally wrap up here, what if you want these stems? What if you want these, these uh, uh, files, these clips to respond to tempo changes? If that's what you're after, then you need to warp your content. And to learn how to do that, you've got to check out the warping tutorials, very in-depth warping tutorials, but easy to follow that I've linked in the description of this video. So check out those links. You'll figure out how to warp single track audio, how to warp stems, and anything you can imagine alive is going to be possible. But now you're going to avoid that dreaded issue of dragging audio into your live set and it not playing at the proper tempo. So make sure you check those out. 
And then secondly, make sure you subscribe to this channel here on YouTube. I post new content every single day at 10 a.m. Central to make sure you get notified to see if it's content you're interested in and you want to click through and watch. Uh, hit the bell icon so that you see notifications. Again, if it makes sense to so you, click through and watch it. Uh, and uh, make sure you check out those warping tutorials. And I'll see you on the next one at uh, 10 a.m. Central every single day. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye.